Hey everyone and welcome to the next level. Today I want to talk to you about what I consider to be the most important concept in all improvising and that is the concept of your inner listener. Your inner music fan who is the essence of everything you are about artistically. Your inner music fan who originally got you into music and most importantly your inner music fan who should be calling all the shots in your improvising. Your inner listener already knows all the best things you could possibly play at all the best times you could play them. The problem is that all too often we rely on our muscle memory, on our same old, same old vocabulary, on our improvisational habits and other such things which are not ultimately the essence of what we are musically. Your inner listener, however, is the essence of what you are. And in this video, I will show you a simple and amazing exercise to strengthen your inner listener and to make sure that your inner listener is the one calling the shots in your improvising. This doesn't get talked about very much, but all the great players will tell you that you should only play what you hear. You shouldn't play what you're used to playing. You shouldn't play what you think other people want to hear. You shouldn't just rely on jazz cliches. You shouldn't just shred. You should rely on your inner listener to tell you what to play next at any given point in your solo. Here are a few seconds from an interview by the great Pat Metheny talking about precisely this process and how he personally goes through it. If I play one note and then I really hear how that note fits with what everybody else is playing, then there's a person inside me who's a fan of music, who's a listener. And then I just kind of ask the listener, okay, if you were listening to this, which you are, what would you like to hear next? And then I play that. So really it becomes the listening part of you that's the leader of the, you know, the melodic phrase or whatever. So yeah, this is something I talked about to many great improvisers, including Matheny, and they all tell you the same thing. You should only play what you hear. If you don't hear anything, don't play anything. So then, the goal is to establish a direct communication line between your inner listener and your instrument. How do we do that? Well, here is an exercise that I've been doing for a while that's really helped me with this issue. The exercise is very, very simple and very straightforward. It is also very potent. I will first explain the exercise and then demonstrate it to you. So listen up. Choose a play along of your liking. It could be swing, funk, 6-8, anything. Turn on the play along and listen intently. Try to hear when exactly the next phrase is supposed to come in and what the first note of that phrase is. Try to hear as much of it in your head as possible. And then when you're hearing it coming in, get ready to play it and then stop and don't play it. Just sort of hear what it is and when it's supposed to come in and almost play it, but don't. All the while the play along is going. Now do this again. Hear when the next phrase is supposed to come in and what that phrase is. Really focus on trying to hear what the phrase sounds like, what the first note is, and when that phrase is supposed to come in. Get ready to play it, but don't. And then do this for the third time. And on the third time, do come in and play the phrase you heard in your head. And after that, simply rinse and repeat. Two times you don't play it, and the third time you do play it, and so on and so forth. And that's the exercise. I think it's clear to see what this exercise does and how it does it, right? You're essentially teasing out your inner listener. 
to give you clear instructions. The exercise almost kind of strains your inner listener to really focus and really dictate to you what you should be playing. I am now going to attempt to do this myself. Uh, wish me luck. So that's it you guys, uh, this is a very simple, straightforward and a very helpful exercise in strengthening the most important muscle of your music making and that is your inner music lover, your inner music fan, your inner music listener, the one who should be calling the shots in every note you play. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or requests. I answer everyone personally and really enjoy the dialogue with you guys. Please comment, like and subscribe if you enjoy these kinds of videos. There's a lot more coming. I just came back from a European tour with Mr. Bob Reynolds and his band. I'm about to go back on the road with Kamasi Washington and his group. So I'm going to be making a bunch of videos from there and interviewing people and showing you guys cool concepts and ideas for playing. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.